A ball is thrown vertically upwards at 10 meters per second from a point P. One second later, a second ball is also thrown vertically up from the same point with the same speed of 10 meters per second. Calculate the time that the first ball has been in flight when the balls meet and calculate the height above P when the balls at which the balls meet. So, if we let the first ball be A and the second ball be B, then we know the initial velocity of A is equal to the initial velocity of B, which is 10 meters per second, and that gravity, the acceleration, is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second, acting against the balls. No, so for using S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, then for SA we have that 10T is plus a half times minus 9.8T squared. We'll call that equation 1. Now for ball B is launched one second later. So SB will be 10 times T minus 1. Now this is, you need to take a bit of time to get your head around this. T minus 1. The ball is thrown one second later plus a half times minus 9.8 times t minus 1, all squared. Note, when t is equal to 1 in here, this will be 0, which will give a position of p. Just repeat that. When t is equal to 1, okay, this will give a displacement of 0, which is the initial position of p. One second later, this will be further away from p. This is Take a little moment to get your head round that and maybe perhaps pause the video. It's T minus one, it's one second later. Okay, we'll call that equation two. Right, we need to know when SA is equal to SB because that assures that the two balls meet and we need to know the value of T when that happens. So we need to solve for T, the time when the balls meet, 10t minus 4.9t squared is equal to 10 times t minus 1 minus 4.9 uh, t minus 1 squared. Now the 4.9 comes from doing up minus a half times 9.8. Right, expanding this side we're going to get 10t minus 10 minus 4.9 and now we expand this t minus 2 all squared is t squared minus 2t plus 1. So being able to expand a quadratic is quite important. Right, the 10 t's now cancel out. And you're left with minus 4.9 t squared equal to minus 10. Taking this in here, we get minus 4.9 t squared plus 9.8 t minus 4.9. Right, the minus 4.9 t squares cancel out. Minus 10 minus 4.9 is going to give me minus 14.9 plus 9.8t. Therefore, 9.8t is going to be 14.9, and therefore t will be 14.9 divided by 9.8, which gives me 1.52, and then to three centimeter figures, that gives me 1.52 seconds. To find the position where they meet above p, you need to substitute this into equation 1 or equation 2 for that matter, but it's easy to use equation 1. Don't use the rounded off version, use this one here. So SA will be 10 times 1.52 minus 4.9, 1.52 all squared. So if you've got that in your calculator, you can just press answer here and answer here. That will give you 3.877 which to three centimeter figures is 3.88 meters. So the balls will meet 3.88 meters above P. So this has been a video to show you about two balls being thrown out, one, one second later than the other, and finding the time and the height that they actually meet from the initial point. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.